World Boxing News X sparring partner calls for Tyson Fury to be stripped of heavyweight title World Boxing News July 11, 2021 Tyson Fury World Boxing Council Mikey Williams Tyson Fury's former sparring partner Dillian White has called for the WBC heavyweight champion to be stripped of the green and gold belt. Dillian White, who trained with Fury in many camps early on during his career, wants the World Boxing Council to act following a COVID delay. Fury was due to face old rival Deontay Wilder on July 24 in a championship defense taking place in Las Vegas. As interim belt holder, White believes the belt should now pass to him, and Fury should be subsequently stripped for placing the strap on hold. This is why they have the interim champion, White told Sky Sports. When stuff like this happens and fights fall through, and the champion is injured or can't fight, or for whatever reason can't defend the title, then the interim champion steps up. Make me world champion, I'll fight Wilder as a world champion, and the winner of that fight's Tyson Fury. And then the winner of that fight, Anthony Joshua, for the undisputed. That is where everything is solved with one action, he added. At present, the WBC is yet to inform White he's the mandatory challenger officially. This is partly due to Alexander Povetkin knocking White out on either side of his last two victories. White is the interim champion, but Wilder holds the number one and current mandatory spot as the previous challenger. Tyson Fury Dillian White WBC Mark Robinson heavyweight situation Therefore, the body snatcher has little to no claim for a shot at the title until the Fury vs Wilder situation is resolved. Promoter Frank Warren hopes the fight can be rescheduled in the fall. It's looking to be sometime in October, which is a great shame it's been postponed, but it is what it is, Warren said. Unfortunately, they in the camp and himself got tested positive for COVID. There's nothing we can do about it. It's the times we live in, so the fight is postponed, pushed back. It's very frustrating, really frustrating for Tyson. By the time he gets into the ring, he will have been out for nearly 20 months. That's a long, long time. I like what Dylan White said. The problem with what Dylan White said is it sounds too much like right. You know? Um, when it comes to Tyson Fury, this stuff is nothing new. It's in Tyson Fury's history. This is why a lot of people say Tyson Fury is not a real champ because he's never defended a belt. Ever. And it's a shame that stuff like this happens so often in boxing because these are the big turnoffs in boxing. You know, it's always stuff like this. Does Tyson Fury got COVID? I highly doubt it. You know, what could be his reasons for putting the fight off? Most people say it's because he can't cheat. Some people say because he was never, you know, that they were never going to fight in the first place. And, you know, some people say it, it could be just because, I don't know, Tyson Fury's not ready or who knows. It could be a strategy to throw Wilder off, you know, um, Tyson Fury plays those kind of mind games. And with boxing, uh, you can do that. Um, me, as far as ducking goes, yes, it could be considered a form of ducking, but I don't consider postponed fights ducking. You know, like you're not going to get out of not having the fight. You just postpone it. So could somebody be scared or getting cold feet or something like that? Yeah, but, you know, postponing don't get you out of a fight. But nonetheless, people say that this is not shocking of the actions of Tyson Fury. We seen this coming, you know, same thing with Klitschko now with Wilder, same thing with Anthony Joshua. And these are the people that support Tyson Fury actions behind this. As far as boxing goes, when he does stuff like this, he's very anti-boxing. But then again, uh, Tyson Fury is so uh, entertaining most people, you know, especially with this fanboy era, most people don't care what their favorite fighter does or how they hold up boxing or how they do this. And that's part of the problem, um, not being able to hold these boxers accountable and, and responsible because we want to show favoritism. 
And I keep telling people that boxers depend and hide behind that. They hide behind their fans being overly biased. If they if they thought they was going to lose their fan base or their ability to be a draw, I'm pretty sure we would get a different outcome from some of these boxers. But then again, this is why the UFC, as far as competition, reigns supreme, which will, you know, which will I will bring out another video uh, basically breaking down um, what you need to expect from boxing. But that's going to be a little bit later today. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Bruce Vanderbilt.